get the lovely Starsha. Step right up to the microphone, and it's on. It's hot. Three, two, one. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to be in your energy. Cross watchers, you know you always welcome. Returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. And subscribers, do not forget to hit that bell. Scorpio, I'm going to start your reading by using the Miss Cleo Tarot deck. And the spirit message we have for your reading is, I will confront anyone who goes against you. I don't play about you. And we also have 69. So Scorpio, this can be your energy about someone or this is how someone feels about you. We have the lover's card here, Gemini energy, as well as the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this person is depicted in the Knight of Swords card fighting off a feline. So this person or your person is in the energy of fighting off any competition or any other options that are in the way of them getting to you. You see, Scorpio, they are on a journey to you, back to you. Because when they look in your eyes, and they look into your soul, they see many lifetimes with you. When they are intimate with you, it's as if it's a brand new experience, something that they never have felt before. You bring them so much joy, you bring them so much peace, and you absolutely 100% deserve to be treated like the queen or king that you are. This person wants to be your knight in shining armor. They will protect you. They will go to war for you. They love you deeply, passionately. At the sight of you, they're at, a, they're at attention and ready to show you how they feel. But what's very interesting to me is that the belt that adorns this masculine's waist it wraps around his waist, his buttocks, and the tail of the belt is firmly gripped in his hand and the whisks or the end of the belt is standing at attention and it's facing the divine feminine. So this man wants to dominate you. He wants to mark his territory and he feels that you belong to him. So the root of this energy is Big devil energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. This is someone who sees marriage with you. This is someone who may offer you a proposal of some sort, potentially an engagement, a date. It could be something as simple as a piece of jewelry, or he could bring you your favorite bottle of wine. But this person wants to come to you and they want to discuss the marriage or the relationship. And they want to share with you how deep and passionate they are for you. But what's very interesting to me is as we take a look in the recent past, Scorpio, I see that this person is a traveler. I see that this person desires to put you up to allow you to relax and embrace, you know, your essence of beauty and let it just flaunt around gracefully. This person wants to show you off like you're a trophy. They look at you as if you're a piece of art and they want to own this piece of art. Um, they find you to be, be very inspirational. They want to impregnate you and they want you to continue to have their children. They want you to have their children. They want you to feel safe. They want to put you in a safe space where you can just be in your feminine energy or be in your masculine energy and know that you are safe and that you are taken care of. So this is definitely giving masculine energy versus the feminine energy. Um, Scorpio, your energy is coming off to be a bit more feminine. So I could have a lot of feminine viewers um, for this reading, but this is also definitely for the masculine. Now, what's very interesting to me, Scorpio, is that this person is very dominant. 
Okay, this individual has other concubines or they have other options or other feminine ener- energies that they attend that they attend to that they're attached to and that they have claimed in a way. Okay, or they're attached to in a way. This could be family members, sisters, this could be feminine energies, aunties, mothers, babies, mothers, feminine energy here um, that they have a grip on as well. And what I'm looking at is the chariot. The chariot has a masculine energy on a chariot. Um, He has a whip in his hand and the Sphinx is a feminine energy who has an undertone of red. And the Sphinx looks very annoyed because this masculine energy is looking back at the Empress energy, which is you, my feminine Scorpio energies. And it's if he's got you put up. Okay, but he's but he's traveling away from you, but you're put up. Okay, so this masculine has no intentions to stop his lifestyle or stop, you know, who he's attached to, what he's attached to. That is his business that he will tend to. However, Scorpio, I will confirm anyone who goes against you. I don't play about you. I will fight for you. Male, female, it doesn't matter. I will fight on behalf of you. I will stand up for you. You belong to me. You are mine. I own you. And I'm going to make sure that I provide for you and give you everything that you need so that you could just be in your feminine energy. Meanwhile, I'll attend to this kingdom And this high priestess that I'm involved with here, we have high priestess energy. We have the seven of coins in reverse here. So a lot of investments that have not manifested as desired in this relationship here. Uh, Lots of arguments and disagreements here. Okay. Battle of the egos here. Inner child healing that has not been addressed particularly for the feminine energy may be experiencing issues with the father um, or having a single parent home and um, just really not having the example needed in in order to be that divine feminine such as yourself Scorpio Um, but at the end of the day you know this high priestess is jealous of this emperor energy your person Um, she is jealous of his status she wants to keep him under her thumb and manipulate him through seduction she wants to um you know live in this fantasy world in this world of desire and passion and pleasure and um this woman loves to you know shop she's very obsessed with um beautifying herself and keeping herself young she's very obsessed with the nightlife the street life the gossip the um you know the fast money here she's very obsessed with the material and she desires for your masculine to keep supplying him with the pentacles whether it's child support or you know whether it is stability for herself um she knows the ins and outs of this masculine she knows how to humiliate this masculine she loves to humiliate this masculine she loves to emasculate this masculine okay So your person is dealing with all types of feminine energies, Jezebel spirits as well, Jezebel spirits. Okay. Um, so he's in, in invested in these things, but his heart is with you. Hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's crowning this reading for the Scorpio sun, moon, rising Venus, North node. Five of swords in reverse. So his ways, His lifestyle has been exposed, okay? His lifestyle has been exposed here. Give me more information on the Five of Swords here. Some of you might be getting communication from women, women that you don't know, or um, um, you might be being followed by, um, what do they call those fake pages? Okay. We have the full card here in reverse. So it's like when this person is under the influence, right? Or when this person, this person has a lifestyle here that they indulge in here. Okay. This person that you're attached to and they, they're, they're, they still have a passion for it. Okay. But they know that they don't have a lot of time when it comes to you. So they need to put you up. You're a squirrel in their world. They want to dominate you. Okay? Big tower energy coming through. What's the tower about? What's What energy 
It's coming towards this Scorpio big tower energy. What is this about? Energy coming towards the Scorpio. Page of coins, three of swords. Heartbreak is coming. Heartbreak. Queen of staffs here. And the queen of swords. We have the queen of staffs in reverse. We have the queen of swords here. We have the three of swords here. We have the page of coins here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So this person has broken your heart. So as far as you're concerned, you're battling your heart over your mind when it comes to this person. Because you know that this person is going to offer you, you know, whatever you want here. You know that this person is coming back. So this person is really in and out, in and out, inconsistent here. Okay, this person is inconsistent. And you know their tricks, you know. You know, you know this energy. You've seen this energy before. How do you see yourself at this time? How do you see yourself at this time? When it comes to this person, I feel that you're very weak for this person. Four of swords here in reverse. It's like you're trying to, especially at night, okay? If you're in separation from this person, like you have so many fantasies about this person at night despite your logic you know despite how you want to logically move away from this person possibly this person has a hold over you it's like it's like a part of you almost loves the way that he treats you isn't that crazy it's like it's like, because it's giving like bdsm if, if that's how you pronounce it i'm not really too keen in that stuff but it's like it's like that it's like 50 shades of gray it's like um you almost love the way that he dogs you out um um i'm getting eminem love the way you lie or this is how you used to be or it's like that's what you used to be attracted to you used to be attracted to these players but it's like something about him that makes or something about the her that makes you just want to bow down to them it's it's a it's giving big devil energy here but that's something that you're standing up against here <laughs> i'm hearing nle chopper nle chopper legs let's just let me out let you out or something like that this person just this person just sleds you out, but then they, they want to treat you like a princess at the same time. And they want to live there. You know, they, they, you don't tell them what they can do in their life. They, they run their life. They run your life. They're going to provide for you. You're going to do what they say. You're not going to say nothing about it. And you're just going to be sexy. You're just going to be beautiful. I'm going to love on you. I'm going to give you what you want. You're going to come back. You're going to be mine. There's nothing you can say about it. I don't want to argue about nothing. It is what it is. I'm going to handle this. You just sit there and look pretty. Is what I'm getting. And some of you guys, maybe not all of you, some of you are like, are into that. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Um, how do people see you at this time? How does this person see you at this time? How does this person see you at this time? <sighs> how does this person see the Scorpio at this time? How does this person see the Scorpio at this time? This is very like erotic here. You see this? see you feeling like will of fortune in reverse like i feel like this person almost wants to like hide you away or keep you a secret or something like that because it's like you're super taboo you're super taboo give me more information on this will of fortune energy here that's what i'm getting from that it's like this love this relationship is taboo and it's not over with the world car in reverse. It's you're still attached to this person. It's like you and this, your relationship with this person is a secret almost. Okay. So we have judgment in reverse. We have nine of cups and, and, and there's just the fact that it's a secret. It just turns you on for some of you guys. Uh, it's what I'm picking up or it turns them on, but it's going to end up in heartbreak. It's going to end up breaking your heart. The fact that they can own you and then still live their life and they can come in and dominate you. It like turns them on. You, you turn them on like it's to a degree that I can't even express to you. Like they got to have you almost to the point where you have no say so in it. What's the outcome here? The moon card in reverse. So things are going to be exposed to you. You hit any emotions are going to be exposed. Okay. 
things that you were afraid of is going to be exposed in this situation. A lot is about to be exposed here. They want you. It's almost like they want you in ropes. They want to chain you up. They want to lock you up. Page of Swords. It's like this person is coming up with this strategy or this plan to get you. No lie. Okay. All right. Let's see what your advice card is. Okay. What's the advice card for the Scorpio? Balance and spiritual guidance. Give me one card. One card. <laughs> one card. Children. Telling you this person wants to get you pregnant or get you pregnant again. Like you belong to them. Very similar to the Pisces reading and I used a completely different deck. So children, so this person may be tending to a baby's mother as well. So just take what resonates, take what resonates, right? So children, you are asked to pay extra attention to your children or your inner child right now. New children may be coming into your life very soon. This card signals that the angels see your need to play, have fun and honor your inner child. Perhaps you will play with your own children or grandchildren, or you may enjoy having fun with another adult or doing work that involves helping children take some time to ask your inner child how do you feel what would you like to do plan an afternoon where you take your inner child on an outing doing things that allow your playful side to emerge swing slide at the park take an afternoon nap draw on the sidewalk with chalk or build a sandcastle hmm, so children are at play in your love life okay this could be the father of your children this could be your husband that we're talking about but this person feels like y'all you're theirs just sit there look pretty have my babies i'm gonna handle all of this this is this is my world you a squirrel in my world you're mine i'm gonna give you everything you want and all you desire just be mine this is your reading Scorpio. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It's been a pleasure. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching and donating to the channel. Love, Starsha.